Why didn't you tell me it was going to be this expensive? I don't know why I bother looking at this. I'll just have the usual, please. I didn't want to worry you. Yeah, well, now I'm worried. It, it's an updated cost estimate, not an invoice. And you've still got a little while before the next payment's due. But the trial hasn't even started yet. How are we going to afford all this? Yasmin's got assets. So what, you're saying she's got to sell her house? Or take out a loan against it. Guys, look, I'm um, sorry to chip in, but if you're looking for a quick sale, I've actually heard there's a property developer that's making cash offers for houses in the area. I think David's going to sell to him. Is he? I think so, yeah. Ask him for the number. Should all be sorted in a couple of weeks if you need it. It's worth a call. And where's my grand supposed to live when she gets out? Well, David's not going to go anywhere. He's going to rent it back off him. I don't think we're there just yet. Let's explore the loan option first. I've just done a credit check on Gran. I'm pretty sure that's illegal. And certainly isn't ethical. She won't mind. I just wanted to see if she'd be eligible for a loan. And? Well, it says here she's got a terrible score. She's missed loads of loan repayments. Well, that is a surprise. She always seems so sensible. Yes, she was. This has got Jeff written all over it. Really? She'd rather die than get something on the Never Never, let alone miss a payment. If you can't afford it, you can't have it. You know, this might actually work in Yasmin's favour. If Jeff took out a loan in her name without her knowledge, that'd be fraud. This could be the evidence we need to get her out. Right, well, we need to find out. Like, right now. No, but I'm starving. Come on, I'm not paying you to eat curry, am I? Wrong. You're all skin and bone. You're not eating again, are you? I eat what I can. It's the best I can do, Alia. What is it that you came to tell me? We might have some good news about your trial. I know this will probably come as a massive shock, but we think Jeff has taken out some loans in your name. We've done some digging, and turns out these loans run into the thousands. Did you know about them? Well, that means he's forged your signatures on the application forms. He's committed fraud, Gran. This is exactly what we need to prove his coercive behavior. You don't seem pleased. I didn't know about any loans, but there's a very good chance that I did sign for them myself. Why on earth would you do that? I just don't understand why you would sign something and not know what it was for. I don't know. Well, think, because you're going to need a plausible explanation, unless you want to be saddled with thousands of pounds worth of debt. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, I just... I don't know how you could be so... Stupid. Because that is exactly how he made me feel. He made me think that I wasn't capable of looking after my own money, so he took control of it. And if I ever questioned him about anything he accused me of not trusting him it was easier to let him get on with it but you do remember signing some documents it, he, he put papers in front of me from time to time they could have been anything oh, crap. I'm I'm sorry it's not what you wanted to hear it's OK. It was a long shot. There is one more thing we need to talk to you about, though. Your legal fees. You might have to sell the house, Gran. I can't. Why not? This is your freedom we're talking about. It's just a house. And he owns half of it, remember? So even if I wanted to sell, you and I both know that he would never agree. 